Okay, breathe in a little, cause nothing can really prepare you for this. Your Roomba, your vacuum, has your social media information and your billing information? Well, folks, that's it. We've invited a spy into our homes, and it's your vacuum cleaner. Obviously, we want these little gadgets in our homes doing the dirty work for us, but are they taking over? Should we panic? So pretty much with any smart appliance, you're knowingly choosing this convenience in exchange for information. Actually, my severe interest in vacuum cleaners, I know it sounds silly, started with this one shocking story. It was the fall of 2020. Some gig workers in the South American country posted a few pictures in a forum and started discussing, gossiping, you know the drill. And they were pretty weird pictures, like a young woman on a toilet. But the weirdest part is the woman didn't take the photos. An early version of Roomba took them. The photos were sent to this little startup that hires workers to label audio, video, and photo data to train artificial intelligence. It is said that these Roombas weren't available for purchase and were given to paid collectors and employees for training purposes. So are we in the clear? Is my vacuum cleaner just clean? Well, let's cue the research montage, cause I'm gonna do some research. I'll give you the answer at the end of this, but this story starts with your data and ends with machine learning. Obviously, most of the time you consent to give out data, but you might not be fully aware of what kind of and how much you're giving out, just like all these terms and conditions you agree to. Well, anyway, for your cute little robot friend that I personally call Churchill, to be efficient, he has to have a map of your house. My little Churchill wanders around in my apartment, mapping it, seeing where all the dust is gathered, where I cook, where I sleep, everything. And it's all about machine learning. It's a technique that uses large amounts of data, our voices, faces, homes, to train algorithms to recognize patterns. But for robots to learn, humans have to first view, categorize, and label, and give context to the data. Matt Bean, who studies humans that work with this data, says that there's always a group of humans sitting somewhere, usually in a windowless room, just doing a bunch of point and click. Yes, this is an object or not an object. iRobot actually has said that they shared over 2 million images with the startup I've mentioned before. The problem is this. I might agree to let Churchill watch me procrastinate on the couch once in a while, but I didn't know that he might send all of this information for other humans to see. And I agree to it mostly because I'm always unaware. Well, except when I start researching stuff for these videos. You know these pop-ups in all your devices that ask for your consent to send information and promise that it will be used to improve products and services? Well, it's vague enough for me to feel like something good will come from it. Until now, obviously. See, even if the company doesn't use your data for machine learning, it still lies somewhere in servers. Its protection might not be a priority, so one little hacker could make all, all your, your dirty, dirty apartment, apartment secrets, secrets public. public. Okay, I don't actually want to make you scared of your vacuum cleaner, especially Churchill. Look how cute he is. Now, with all of these smart devices, Amazon Halo Rise watching you sleep, Amazon's ring surveilling your home, it's time to question whether we're getting too comfortable with all the information we're giving out in our own homes. So for now, just be very careful and aware when you let those daily helpers gather information about you. God, now that I've been researching these devices, Amazon Echo, Amazon Ring, Amazon Halo Fitness Tracker, I think I know what my next video is going to be about. Subscribe and see you next week.